this episode I will show the full gun shooting game mascot Gashapon set, which was released by JDream in 2022 as part of the Amusement Machines series. Before I show the toys in detail, I will briefly explain what Gashapon are. Gachapon vending machines contain miniature toys and capsules. Customers insert money, usually in the 3 to 5 US dollar range, turn a crank, which produces a noise the Japanese would describe as sounding like gacha or gasha. The mechanism causes one of the capsules to drop down from the display container into a receipt slot. The thunk of this action sounds similar to the word pon. This is why gachapon is an onomatopoeia. Usually, five individual toys of a single series are mixed in the machine and dispensed at random. Gashapon were invented by vending machine operator Ryo Shigeta in 1965 in Tokyo. Mr. Shigeta came up with the idea of encapsulating the offered items after being frustrated about candy-like goods having physical contact with toys inside the machines. A big milestone for Gashapon was when Bandai started to have an own offering in 1977. Formally, for a cheap price goods of low value were offered. Bandai helped to establish the practice of charging comparably much money for items of high quality. A later common example would be detailed hand-painted figurines which tie into anime and manga franchises. As Gachapon grew very popular, a niche market for relatively absurd items came into existence, which caters to an adult audience. While some manufacturers go for very original items such as food-animal hybrids, JDream satisfies the niche with mundane everyday life items such as dentist chairs, hotel furniture, mailboxes and ATM and soda machines. In 2022, JDream released amusement machine collections, which covered genres such as boxing, sim racing and dancing. In this segment I will show each gun shooting mascot toy in more detail, but I will begin with an overview. The asking price is 300 rand per gacha, which is about 3 US dollars. As I got my miniatures from eBay and not out of an actual gacha vending machine, I like the capsules. Two kinds of arcade machines are represented, positional gun games referred to as type A and light gun games referred to as type B. All parts aside the fake cables are made of ABS and were injection molded using a single lush color. Generally very little paint was used. The miniatures require the users to apply artwork stickers themselves and demand some minor assembly. The finished toys look fine. But the quality isn't perfect, as on many instances the remaining injection studs weren't cut off very carefully by the factory. Luckily, owners can easily remedy this using an X-Acto knife. My favorite among the gun shooting game mascot series is the Type B variant of Super Shooting. Its color scheme and especially the font design remind me a lot of the arcade game Time Crisis. The artwork shows a humanoid robot which holds an SMG. The Type A variant has pastel blue and rose colored machine guns. As such, the pigment choice would have been much more appropriate for the light gun variant to model Time Crisis closer. The artwork shows an exploding industrial plant and the fake monitor presents some gameplay. While the non-Roman characters certainly don't say Super Shooter, sadly translation attempts were inconclusive and I'm not absolutely sure even whether those are Japanese kanji or Chinese script. Google Translator came up with more results though if set up to Chinese. The artwork of the Type B variant of Shooting Justice shows elf-like looking women wielding assault rifles. The bright portions of the cabinet aren't white, but the same shade of grey as it is used on the bottom plate of the other two Type B cabinets. The feet of this miniature weren't painted, as those are already black. On the contrary, the Type A variant is the most paint-bearing miniature of the series. Besides the interface between the two guns, the wall gun pedestal, the coin door and the feet were painted. The stickers depict two heavy vehicles in a deserted landscape which has large celestial bodies on the horizon. In my particular set, the positional gun on this unit can be swiveled much more easily than the guns of super shooting. The Type B miniature and Destiny uses the same exact cabinet as Super Shooting did and varies just in the stickers. 
The main screen presents the logo in front of flames. The side panel artwork shows a pistol wielding soldier in an industrial looking complex. Overall I'm very pleased with the gun shooting game mascot series. I think those miniature cabinets are great looking and make for an awesome showpiece or decoration. They might not be the most impressive nor artesian gashapon ever made, but I feel many light gun fans would enjoy them a lot. My acknowledgement goes to fellow YouTuber Kim Sama, from whom I have learned about the gun shooting game mascot series. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.